Also happening now, family and friends of murdered victims are celebrating the National Day of Remembrance by holding a special candlelight ceremony. CBS 4's Ashley Custer live at that event with more. Ashley. These are the many faces of murder victims, a good portion of whose cases remain unsolved. Now, victims' families and friends are still rebuilding their lives, but tonight they stand united in their efforts to seek justice for their loved ones. 23 months later and still no leads on the three men accused of taking the life of 20-year-old Jolisa Rangel. Since the day they murdered my daughter, Jolisa, uh, it's never been the same. Uh, I, we tell people that uh, the community Come and support us. You don't have to be in our shoes. All we need to, uh, are hugs and loves and support. And Flores isn't alone. There are many families across the nation and here in the Rio Grande Valley that are still rebuilding their lives after losing loved ones to violence. At the beginning, I felt lost. I felt alone. But when I, uh, I reached out and they welcomed me with open arms and they haven't forgotten about me and Jalisa and other loved ones down here. And Friday, the Rio Grande Valley families and friends of murdered children are gathering to commemorate and honor the ones they've lost. Based on, on the, uh, the organization that we have, we have 25 families. We have about 40% that are unsolved. But they're also raising awareness to the alarming statistics. The leads go cold so quickly. So how many unsolved murders do you think or that you know of are here in the Rio Grande Valley? Based on the data that I know of, you're looking at about 55 to 60 percent that are unsolved. Okay, Depending on the police department that you talk to, they might have a, a clearance rate, a homicide rate higher than that. Garcia wants that to change. He hopes that the community will be involved in the healing process and help support victims' families in their quest for justice. Well, as a survivor, it is very important for us to get some type of closure. It will never be 100% closure because our, our victim and our, our, our loved one is murdered. But if we can bring these people to justice and get the punishment that they deserve for the crime that they commit, that's what we're looking for. Garcia's brother Roger was murdered in 2011, and it's why he started this nonprofit organization to bring grieving families together. Now, tonight, Cameron County District Attorney Luis Sainz will be honored for his efforts to reopen cold cases, and family members here say that they hope other law enforcement officials will follow in his shoes. For now, live and far, I'm Ashley Custer, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.